Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Mill Creek Crossing Connection. Joining me in studio, we have Dwight Wheeland. And uh, Dwight, always the conversation off the air before we get started on the air is more interesting, I think, for the listener. And uh, we were kind of <laughs> having a discussion about Caitlin Clark and uh, just the incredible season she's having for the Hawkeyes. Yep, it's, it's worth watching to see a little gal that's that dedicated to her sport. I saw where the Iowa-Maryland game was the most watched sporting event on Fox Sports in history. Wow. wow. For, for a women's basketball game. Yeah. Breaks the record of anything else. So that's just amazing to me. Well, she's brought, she's brought a lot of attention to the Iowa team. That is for sure. That is for sure. Well, uh, Mill Creek Crossing Connection, of course, uh, you come in every Wednesday to talk about the development out there, uh, available housing options, and um, if you're a regular listener to the show, you, you know, have heard all about the various uh, agent place designs we've talked about, uh, financing options, but... There may be some people joining us for the first time and aren't familiar with some of that stuff, so it doesn't hurt to go over it and bring it up again. So um, right now there is a model home available for people to come and check out. Yes, it's, uh, the model home is open Tuesday, Tuesday through Saturday uh, from 11 to 1. And coming up this next Saturday, I believe, isn't it, Paul? We, oh, we that's... have our op open house with some refreshments yeah that's this saturday yeah, yeah. so the 10th it's always the second tuesday of the month second, second saturday or tuesday <laughs> <laughs> snap uh second saturday of the month and so mary will be there and have some refreshments you bet you bet and uh but it is open uh during the week tuesday through saturday and uh it's quite different than what what we were showing a year and a half ago, uh, I think back then still had the breakfast bar and things like that, which has disappeared now. Uh, and st instead of that, there, there is an island, and the breakfast bar is on the back side of the island. So that that has changed the looks of the kitchen area considerably. Uh, also, the, there's a pantry in the kitchen, which is a great idea. Uh, quite different from the old style. And so if, if you haven't seen the new style, uh, drop by and uh, let Mary show it to you. And uh, I think you'll be, you'll be surprised at how much more open space there is in the new style. Uh, tray ceilings are the norm in the open big room. Uh, if a person wants a tray in the master bedroom, that can be arranged too. Uh, but if, if you haven't, uh, it'd be a good time to meet with Dan and sit down and tell him what you want and he can tell you what he'll build it for. And the price that Dan quotes after that meeting is the price that will be on closing date. Unless you decide to buy some change orders, you want to change something in the house. That, you know, that alone is a pretty big incentive as far as I'm concerned because, you know, we just went through a period where the price of wood and all the materials skyrocketed. You bet. And if you got quoted a certain price and then all those prices went way up he doesn't then turn around and throw that on to you he he bites the bullet on that doesn't he that's right he uh, so. the price he quotes is the price it'll be uh, I want to mention something about uh, the reverse mortgage oh too. Sure. sure of course you, you can go to the bank credit union or wherever you want to go, and uh, they'll finance it for you, probably. But uh, there's something we haven't been mentioning about the reverse mortgage. 
and it just came into play out there. Okay. Uh, you, you know, when, when you check into a care facility, uh, they want a, a financial statement. Right. And uh, rightly so, they, they want access to those finances. But if you have a reverse mortgage, if I have a reverse mortgage, if I would go into a care facility, uh, they can't touch the house because it is covered, the reverse mortgage covers the house's worth. And so as a house appreciates in value, uh, so does the coverage of the reverse mortgage. So that's something that we haven't talked about, but it's something that maybe some people would be interested in. Uh, someone has quite a bit of assets and they want to protect it for the kids, but we don't know. Uh, tomorrow I may be in a care facility. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know. Mm. But anyway, it, it protects that value. And uh, for more information on that, we would re refer you to a professional that represents United of Omaha. And uh, he could go into all the details, even you can pay more than the house than, than you're supposed to. And it's just like a bank account. They'll pay you interest on that money. And uh, it, it's really something worth thinking about right but there again that doesn't affect the sale of the house at all because all Dan does is refers you to this professional that does the reverse mortgages we, we know just about enough to get in trouble by telling you <laughs> <laughs> but this fellow can tell you all of the ins and outs and how how those things work and and it's really designed for people to uh, take advantage of, and, and uh, I mean that sincerely. Uh, there's so many new perks in it that weren't there when I got my reverse mortgage. So uh, that's something we can talk about if you come out, and we'll give you the man's card and ask permission if we can call him and tell him that you might be interested. But back to the houses, you know, we've always said they're built to grow old in, and we've done that. 36-inch uh, doors, right now Shirley's using a walker. She doesn't have any trouble at all navigating the doors. Uh, door handles instead of door knobs, which are much easier for us when we're getting arthritis in my hands. Uh, the large buttons for the light fixtures, uh, well insulated. Uh, our light bill and gas bill was higher in January. I wonder if anybody wonders why. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were certainly warm. Uh, we didn't have the curtains flying in our face and things like that. Uh, Pella or Anderson windows. Uh, just a lot of features that we can't remember to talk about. We don't have time enough to talk about all the features. So that's why there's open houses. Right. Come out and take a look, ask the questions. Uh, Mary's a great hostess. She she knows a lot about the house because she lives in one too. And we feel that that's an advantage, and, and Dan does too. To, uh, the, the two people that represent him here in Clinton both live in his houses. So drop by. Uh, I don't know what Mary will have Saturday, but you can bet she'll have something nice. Well, did, 
does some of the residents that live out there, do they drop by sometimes if she's got some refreshments just to hang out? Because I know I went one time and some of the residents were all there just to chit chat because they've all become kind of a friendly community and everybody knows each other and likes to visit. That's true. Uh, and, and what better people to have sitting around the table Right. having a sandwich or something like that and talking to the prospects that are coming in. Uh, yes, that happens quite often. And uh, we welcome those people to drop in. <clears throat> I, I go over on Saturdays. Uh, because if two or three couples come in at the same time, Mary can't get to each one of them. But, Anyway, uh, we'd be happy to walk you through the house. And, uh, the one that we're showing now is a three bedroom on the main floor. Uh, a little bit different kitchen design than it has been in the others. Uh, the, the traffic pattern in the homes now is, is great. Uh, uh, you have the master bedroom, and next to that you have uh, the master bathroom with a roll-in shower, not a walk-in, a roll-in. And uh, then you go into the master bedroom closet, which is attached to the laundry room. So uh, one path, uh, not exposed to any windows at all except the ones in the master bedroom. Uh, it's a nice design and, and uh, very convenient too. So if people have maybe stopped in and looked at some of the other homes in the past and still thinking about it, they need to come out and see the new home because it, there, it is different. That's right. It, uh, there's quite a few changes. If, if they haven't been there for two or three years, there's a lot of changes. They won't know that they're walking into the, the same home. Uh, I had a, had a visitor uh, not long ago came in, and uh, they first looked three or four years ago. Okay. But they were going to build in another town because that's where their children were. And they came back and were looking, and you could tell by their questions and comments about the new design that they had an interest. And I said, well, I thought you were going to build in this other town where your kids are. He said, I watched construction in that town, and, and compared to this construction, it was the most shoddy construction I'd ever witnessed in new homes. Wow. And so... They haven't bought yet, but they came back after three or four years' absence, and uh, they live over in Illinois now and thinking about moving to Clinton because they're here every day for something, he said. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it, it is a, a, a good, good feeling when people tell you, I've watched the construction in this other town, and... It can't compare to this. Definitely, definitely. Well, if anybody's got any questions or uh, who, the, who should they get a hold of or talk to, and of course you mentioned Mary's there Tuesday through Saturday, and right. this Saturday is the, the get-together with the refreshments, so yeah. keep that in mind. And if Mary's not home or it isn't ours when it's open, they can get a hold of Mary or myself, either one. I live right behind this home that we're talking about. Okay. Uh, I live on Garrett, and this is on Connor Drive. Uh, it is out of our uh, homeowners association because that's a different homeowners over there. But uh, uh, I've talked to the fellow who does our snow removal and lawn mowing, and. He said, you know, I would be silly not to take care of that if if uh, they would want me to. And it would would not be a homeowner's agreement. They would deal directly with this young man that takes care of the snow removal and mowing. So uh, if, if somebody's worried about not having that available, it is. And 
You know what a blessing that was a couple <laughs> weeks ago. We had piles of snow out there. I, I thought it would be there until April. And uh, the Lord has a way of giving, and he took some away. He, our, our snow was just about all melted. Yeah. But uh, I didn't worry about it. I was sat in the house, and when I heard his snowblower going or his truck dra back dragging the snow, I looked out the window and watched him for a while. <laughs> Yeah, that's something, you know, to after years and years and years of snow shoveling and snow blowing to be able to just kick back and watch someone else do it. You know, that's probably pretty good, isn't and, it? And I get these silly notions. I tell Shirley, you know, I wished I had a snow blower again. <laughs> she said, no, you don't. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, I think we're going to wrap things up on today's Mill Creek Crossing. So, again, we thank Dwight Whelan for being our guest here today. And, again, Mill Creek Crossing Connection, heard Wednesday mornings on KROS, brought to you by Dan Dolan and Dan Dolan Homes.